On today's roadshow, we've come to a county with not a single mile of motorway, but nearly a hundred miles of spectacular coastline. We've come to a picture book seaside resort, which in medieval times was actually inland. But the seas have taken their toll and erosion has brought the town to the water's edge. Well, if you don't guess it already, we are in Cromer on the North Norfolk coast. And for the first time ever in the history of the road show, we are setting ourselves up on a pier. People are arriving in waves. So let's see what this coastal community can conjure up. Now this is a letter from John Leonard, but it's to you. What do I get to keep him <laughs> Is that my prize? Are you from a family of Arctic explorers? Uh, no. If you throw this into the sea and it sinks, that means it's real. <laughs> I'd have one. Yeah. Yeah. But I am odd, so... Yes, so am I odd. <laughs> Welcome to the Antiques Roadshow. Now this is an incredible... Absolutely stunning. Thank you. Thank you for bringing them in. That's been a real treat to come here today and see something which is so appropriate to where we're actually standing. With the sound of the sea crashing underneath us, it just brings it all home, just how brave those guys really were. Do you know, I've seen many autographs and things over the years, but um, and many Beatles autographs, and you know, sometimes you think, oh my gosh, how many things did they sign? Lots and lots and lots, but rarely do I ever see anything this personal and this poignant. Now, this is a letter from John Lennon, but, you know, it's to you. How have you got a letter from John Lennon? Well, um, I was 16, and I was very lonely. I just left school. My friend, my best friend had moved up to Yorkshire. Her name's Pat. I just thought I would write to him. I wrote and I said that um, I teased him about this transcendental meditation that they were into and I asked him if he put his legs behind his neck. Yes. And, um, That's an impertinent question to ask John <laughs> Lennon, isn't it? Yeah. Well, he got his crazy girl talking to him. And... So if we look at the letter here and read the line, we can see that it says, Dear Lynn, you don't have to do that leg thing with transcendental meditation. Um, I said to him that I, I really wanted him to be my big brother and he wrote to me from your big brother. I Lovely, so he wrote on the envelope. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. I'm actually quite moved by the whole yeah. story. And actually, this letter shows a really human side yes, uh, to a man who probably got hundreds and hundreds of I letters know, I know. written to him all the time. The other thing is, um, Brian Epstein died on the 27th of August 1967, mm. and the envelope is dated the 1st of September 1967. So it's literally just a few yeah. days yeah. after yeah. Epstein yeah. died. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, he would have been. I no doubt in a state over that yeah, as well yeah. and yeah some very personal comments about what you said to him he says I know how you feel about your friend but what can you do and maybe he's actually referring to the loss of Epstein there as well and I was very excited at the time because I was only 16 but in reflection I feel very honored and I'm really blown away that this man actually bothered to write to me it was it was wonderful Looking at this and taking you back to that time when you were 16 yeah. years old and writing to him I'm not inferring that that's a really long time by the way um, <laughs> Well but it's 61 years ago, no 51 years 51 ago 51 years yeah, ago, yeah, yeah. alright Listen, I am going to put a value on it because in terms of these types of letters that are collected by people And I know it's yeah. very personal to you though And I think uh, commercially this is worth between one and a half to two and a half thousand pounds at auction Wow, oh, that's amazing <laughs> Well, a bold form, Dan.